This is part three of a short crash course series on using photo editors in uh, your computer. We're using GIMP, but a lot of these ideas would carry over to Photoshop or any other. You, you'll also understand your, your, your layer tools in Instagram. By understanding how the computer and the photo editor looks at pictures, you'll be awesome when you're dealing with your photos, whatever your purpose is. Well, we're going to take this picture here from Instagram. This is an athlete and we're using this with permission. And th there's a lot in this photograph. So we don't want to end up changing it. We want to celebrate it as it sh was in, in, in nature and reality as if we were there. So notice we got some mud here on the chin. We want to make sure that stays there. We don't want to lose that. You know, he's got an injury. We want that bandage to keep standing out. He's sporting his injury because he's a skateboarder. And this is an Asian guy with dreadlocks. So there's, there's, a lot of, um, there, there's a lot of diverse complexity in this image that we don't want to lose. But because of the shadow here, there's a lot that we can't see. So our goal is to take the, the natural character of this picture and make more of it stand out without losing any other natural character. So we're going to make very simple tweaks and not try to be the genius, but try to be the Zen guru who can just make a couple little changes and keep everything natural. And we're going to look at our color, our colors menu here. And we're only going to look at levels and curves in this video. And these are basically two different ways of doing the same thing. A lot of these different settings, share the same basic settings or different, they're just different ways of, of looking at it. So we're going to look at levels first. You know, here we have kind of a spread. It's, it's sort of an attendance chart of, of our different levels of brightness and colors. It's not which color, it's not blue or red or green or something in between. And that rhymes. Our, 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 our attendance sheet here of our colors is just how bright things are. You can see we've got a lot of dark colors on the dark color end. And we've got, you know, in the middle, you know, medium colors are just kind of normal attendance, but we've got a few brights up on the bright end. Well, if we take our, our different, you know, we look at our three different markers here, the, the darkest, which is black, the lightest, which is white, and then the one in the middle. If we change this a little, then this photograph will show more of what our natural eyes would have seen if we were there on the spot. Now, this is input levels, it's where we're starting. And then we've got our output levels, which is where we end. There is no middle here. We're just showing how bright and dark we want things to, to, to end up when we're all finished. Input is where we want to work with our middle. So we're going to take our definition of middle and we're going to turn it down so that this shadow is no longer dark, it's medium. Watch this. Yep. And look at that. The shadow just disappeared. I, I, now, it's still a little bit dark. You can tell it's a shadow. But the shadow is no longer stopping us from seeing what was there. Look at all those colors that were hiding in there that we couldn't see. If, if we, uh, oh, my, my favorite button, reset. We did that. It looks almost black. You, you, you'd wonder, is there any color in there at all? Yeah, there is. There's lots of color. We just have to change our definition of middle so that we can see it. Now, there's a lot we could say about this and say, well, does this look too white and bright and cloudy? Should we do other things to edit the photo? Uh, sure. We, we, could, we could look at uh, color balance and hue saturation also, uh, but th that's not our main purpose here. Well, why not? I suppose we could. We'll, we'll, we'll look at that really quick. So I'm going to edit this. I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'm going to go to colors. Go to levels. I'm not going to turn it down ridiculously and I'm not going to turn it way up. Although I could if I, if I wanted to be more artsy with it, I'm just, I'm just going to turn it down a good healthy. It's a shadow, but I can still see it. I want to see it a little bit better. Let's do that. Okay. I'll leave it there. We'll say now, if I wanted to clear it up, I suppose I could uh, go over to hue saturation and uh, maybe turn down the lightness and, oh, that's too much. It looks fake and maybe turn up the saturation a little bit and, and okay, you know, so, so, we're, we're going to do other stuff to fix our photo later on, but that's not the purpose of this tutorial. Okay. Well, we just corrected this shadow using levels. Let's do basically the same thing. I'm going to turn this new layer off. 
Control Shift D, duplicate another layer. Put this one up on top. We're going to do the same thing using curves. This is a little more complicated. Okay. This is our same color spectrum. A lot here on the dark end, normal attendance here in the middle. Uh, it's a little bit taller because we're going to make curves. If I take this and I just bend it a little bit in favor of most of our colors, it does pretty much the same thing. In fact, if you look at that, it might even work a little bit better for preserving the rest of the picture. Let's, let, let, let's leave it at that right there. We won't touch it. Now, which one of these is better? Look at this. When, when we edited this using levels, it's just, it's just straight definition of where our middle line is. Oh, it, it's adjusted it and corrected it now, so it looks differently because we changed things. When we're just adjusting middle, it made everything lighter. But by using curves to do it, and again, we, 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 went, we went to our curves. All we did was just take this. Now, this is the adjusted version. We just took that and moved it over, and it didn't mess with everything so much. Well, it depends on what your situation is. Levels or curves might be better for you, and you learn through trial and error. The secret is you want to do it a lot. You, you need to practice a lot. And you want to be simple. So if I if I went to curves here, and if, if I tried to be the doctor of science and the super ultra smart guy, and I did this too much, and I end up changing the picture so much, I've made my own piece of artwork. Now, maybe that's what I want to do. Maybe I want to do something cool like this. But now I'm more in the artistic end, and I'm not in the photography end, which, which is fine, but it's about what you want to do. If you want to simply edit a photograph, Simple is better. Just this. Whoop. Move it over in favor of where most of your colors are, and the shadows will disappear. And by using curves instead of levels, maybe we keep the other natural colors better. Well, that's pretty much it on how to work with shadows. More to come.